All right, everyone, we are at AmSpa 2022, and we are sitting with Aaron and Nathan from Airtight. As you guys probably know, Lori and I love using their products. We use their cannulas, we use their needles, their syringes, so we use it all. But ultimately, I'm going to pass it off to them to kind of tell you what the difference is and why Lori and I like to use their products. So I'll pass the floor to Erin. Uh, my name is Erin Ash and I'm the new aesthetic sales representative for Airtight Aesthetics. Recently, we just got in our new TSK Invisible Needle. It comes with the line of the low dead space needles. It is 0.2 millimeters, which is 33% smaller than a 30 gauge needle, making it minimal pain, minimal bleeding. I've actually used them on myself Wow! and I couldn't even... Ooh tell where I injected and nice <laughs> it's great highly recommend it it's got the low dead space hub great with a combination of a low dead space syringe that's Definitely important try these out. I mean that is, is important low dead space syringe added with low dead space needles means you're saving money on not yes. wasting toxin <laughs> yes because you I mean we I think Lori's done a little video on it and just pulling back you're if, even if you use the low dead space uh, syringe and you don't use the low dead space needles, you probably waste about 0.05, which depending on your concentration could end up costing you a few dollars up to $10, 20 Yes. Um, and so multiply we'll that by 100 per box. I know a box will save you probably a bottle if yes. not probably more um so it yes they are going to be a little bit more expensive than the cheap 30 half inch that we all started with uh but i think it's worth the investment right <laughs> i agree definitely um, it's a little bit more up front but in the long run you end up saving a significant yeah. amount most likely so. yeah and uh, that's what it's all about the fact that it's even smaller and your patients are feel the needle less means the experience is going to be better. Yes. So you're going to be looked at as somebody who doesn't hurt the patient while they're doing their needle injections. Um, but that's, I mean, this is cool. The invisible needle is cool. The low disc space needles are really cool. And the syringe. I personally love using your TSK cannulas, though. Yes. Um, there is a difference between your cannulas versus others, like Dermascope. Uh, uh, soft fills out there. So yeah, what is the difference? So for the Steriglide TSK cannulas, they basically took the traditional cannula design, which is actually a derivative of dental technology, and they got a bunch of feedback and manufactured it specifically for aesthetic procedures to make it the golden standard. The tip of the cannula itself is different dome shape. Um, which allows for easier insertion. It maneuvers through the anatomy easier. It has a proprietary surface coating, so it glides through like butter. The hole is very close to the tip, almost needle-like, so it, it makes it very precise. I mean, that's important um, because they've, when you watch people do cannula injections, I think people assume, in, because we're habited of using a needle, they assume that you're injecting like a needle, right. that the product's coming out the tip. And they forget that the product is actually coming off the side of a cannula. Yep. Having your, your opening much closer to the tip actually mimics a little bit more as you, where you would get your needle versus the other competitors, theirs are a millimeter, two, three exactly. millimeters from that and so when you're inserting it you need to insert the cannula further in right. so you're getting it to where you want it to be and they they also they beveled the port the hole that it comes out of so it doesn't snag at all as well which helps with the gliding nice. and they made it so it's the perfect balance of stiffness and flexibility important um, that's another important one you know people don't realize it you know if you have certain tissue and Lori likes to say you're knocking on it, so she's going back and forth. If you have it bending on you, you really sometimes you don't know. You need to yeah. give it a little bit of force, and you know cannulas are tricky to use because I think people think, oh, it's safe, so they just keep jabbing it through, um, and you're going to cause more trauma yep. <laughs> than even a needle if you're using it that way. So having it have the smoother glide, the dome that it actually does slide through the tissue, a little bit of that firmness I personally like mm -hmm. because it allows me to not have this flexibility and can kind of control what depth you're going into. I think that's the key to using yeah. cannulas is understanding what depth you are at. And if you don't have that feel because your cannula is flexible, 
you may be injecting into a different area, which right. we see all the time when we train, which is yeah. why Key Lori does not <laughs> like to train for train people on cannulas is because you know like, it's always somewhere else where they think. And I think having a little bit stiffer allows you to really understand where the tip is, which yeah. is where we're trying to figure yeah. out where we're placing our product. Yeah, we do have a new size in the Steraglide coming out later this year. It's going to ah. be the 22 gauge by 38 millimeters. Okay, so, so a little bit um, small, a little bit yes. shorter to... Yep. do smaller areas but 22 so, being the safer yeah. one exactly. <laughs> yes, but, i mean we carry 22 gauge 25 27 30 so we have the whole line of steroglide awesome us. perfect yeah. well thank so, you very much thank um you. thanks for coming out and yeah, this awesome. thank you to <laughs> the aesthetic immersion you guys are always great awesome we'll see you guys next time